Welcome back to Knott's Fishing, the Broken Pilot House, part four here. This uh, is our boat we bought from the storage auction, the gunnel damage here, repaired in part three. You can go back and watch that episode if you'd like. And here's episode four, the repair of this patch job right here that was just horrendous. Didn't think it was that bad at first, but once we started grinding it back, it had a ton of air behind it. Somebody tried to wrap that around to the bottom of the repair and, and it just had all kinds of air in it. Uh, fiberglass doesn't like those 90 degree bends and they obviously didn't know that. So Everywhere they tried to repair it, nothing stuck. So We sanded it down, actually ground it down with a grinder. Then after the grinder we hit it with a sander, about some 80 grit. Knocked all the high spots down and everything. And started getting ready for glass here. Uh, on the glass we started from the smallest piece possible and then worked our way out just kind of building the layers out so that uh, everything ended up being nice and even at the end. Ended up taking eight layers of actual glass and that was a mix between some 1708 and some chop strand matting. Uh, I believe we alternated it one uh, for one and that was the final build out. This is after we sanded it down with a nice orbital sander or dual action, whatever you want to call it. These spots right here, little air voids. What I do, I take a razor knife and cut those out so that you don't have any kind of uh, delamination later on down or a little uh, pocket that uh, chips out later on down in your uh, boat's life. So I took the razor, cut those out, and uh, here we go. Real quick, checking it with the level, or not the level, but the uh, straight edge here. And this is what I do to make sure everything is completely flat. No uh, light gaps there to show that we're uneven. And I was surprised on myself here. It come out just perfect, dead on. And now we are ready to start fairing this thing out. Evercoat Marine here is what uh, product I chose to use. Smeared it, on, smeared it on there, lathered it up, try to fill all the uh, pinholes and any kind of air voids and little light sanding marks and everything, grinding marks that was left behind. And uh, next step is going to be blocking. Uh, whenever I start to block, I like to start whenever it's nice and fresh to get those low hanging tags off. And uh, you'll see how easy they come off whenever the uh, fairing compounds still a little tacky and here we go as you can see here when I start to start to sand this it's skipping around a lot and uh, that's normally a sign your product is still a little tacky and soft and it's not ready to be sanded quite yet but I wanted to get those high spots out and it seems to be a ton easier whenever you do that whenever it's uh, still on the uh, curing phase so as you see there it's knocking that high-end uh, stuff right down to to level and then once I did this uh, sat down got me a new piece of paper waited about another 15 20 minutes for it to fully kick off and cure and uh, blocking away I went and here's a quick little time lapse of uh, the first time I was blocking here got it pretty smooth uh, first time around we did have a couple of uh, voids and whatnot in the first layer so I did go back and skim coat it again for the second time but for the first time this this thing's looking pretty darn straight right off the bat and here you can see those voids I was talking about you get a couple of small little pinholes I'll point one out here um, or low, low spots from where your trial might drag a little bit or whatnot so you gotta go back and fill all those low spots. Any of those shiny spots you might see that uh, didn't get any uh, levelness to them, go back and hit those uh, with a little bit more uh, fairing compound so that everything levels out nice and neat. Uh, check it back with the level, make sure you didn't get anything too high, didn't mess anything up, sand them something down too low, and we're still looking good right here. And this is round two of the fairing still looking great with the straight edge and uh, now we are gonna throw a little bit of gel coat on this thing 
What I, I like to do is uh, get a little thickened gel coat out there, especially running on the sides here, and uh, fill this thing up. Uh, there's several other little chips and blemishes down the side of this boat, so I wanted to fill those in. This boat's going to be painted with uh, Allcraft 2000, so the gel coat's really not going to matter about the matching part of it, so I did not take the time to tint the gel coat whatsoever. It's just what I had laying around. It matched pretty well, but it wasn't perfect, so um, don't judge me for that. And after that, we let that gel coat cure and sanded it down nice and flat. I did block it. I hit it with the DA first, and then uh, after I got all the high spots out, hit it with a block, and it come out pretty darn good. I was surprised with myself here. And uh, the next step from there, if you're going to actually do a gel coat repair, is going to be starting to polish that uh, repair out. And I went ahead and polished it just for uh, shits and giggles, really. And here's what it looked like. And it come out pretty shiny. You can see the reflection there, the fan. It did have some uh, deeper sand scratches in the, in the repair there. But like I said, I'm painting this boat, so that wasn't an issue for me. Uh, if you do go to polish it, you will need to use a little finer grit to polish than uh, what I did. And that is it for this one. Stay tuned next week. We are going to be painting this boat. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.